Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Radio. So we finally have some more information on why Chad Ochocinco and his uh, fiance, ex-fiance broke up, uh, Sherelle. So it is juicy. I was like, wow. So it says, Chad Ochocinco and Sherelle Rosado's split allegedly stemmed from her catching Chad having, you know what, in, uh, with another woman in their bed. I was like, he's so disrespectful. So it says, neighbors, we previously revealed that Chad Ochocinco and his fiance, Sherelle Rosado, have split. Sherelle announced their breakup on X, and since then, Chad has been begging for ways to win her back while avoiding the question of what happened. Well, we spoke to sources close to the former couple who spilled a little tea, and it's trifling as hell. <laughs> According to our sources, Sherelle allegedly caught Chad cheating with another woman in their bed to make matters worse. Uh, worse. The cheating was allegedly caught on camera. Mm -mm, not him taking uh, evidence. <laughs> uh, this isn't the first time Chad has been accused of cheating on Sherelle. There were rumors that he's been involved with multiple women, some whom Sherelle allegedly knew personally. If you recall, one of our neighbors joked about sliding into Chad's DMs following the breakup announcement. Sherelle responded to the comment saying, LOL, hope you don't catch nothing, sis. Um, so this is uh, where she broke up with him. Chad and I are no longer together. Please stop tagging us. He is a free man, ladies. Um, and then he said this. Um, and then this is where she said, I hope you don't catch nothing, sis. So that is trifling. Someone said, how was it their bed if it's his house? Wow. Come on. You guys know. Don't don't play like that. <laughs> Someone said, didn't she leave her husband for him? Yeah, because a lot of people are saying that she cheated on her husband with him. Um, so I guess you get him how you win him or whatever. <laughs> you lose him how you get him. Someone said that ultimate disrespect, his note dug head ass. So uh, a lot of women, they could look past the cheating and stuff. But when you do it disrespectfully, like in your bed, that's when she probably, you know, got up out of there. Someone said the way y'all carelessly hurt other human beings is effed up. Someone said Evelyn Lozada literally caught him doing the exact same thing. But Evelyn did give him permission to cheat too, you know, but I don't think she could handle it once she found out. Someone said one thing a man will do is embarrass the hell out of you. Someone said Chad is handsome and rich. Why not just be single and let potential partners know that you'll be dating multiple women? So many would be open to that. I'm thinking men like him don't want that kind of dynamic because then the woman would have the option to do as she pleases as well. Yeah, it's like the woman can't do it. She has to be faithful to him while he does everything else, you know. Someone said, oh, baby, we can't recover from that, like, at all. Someone said, it's never that deep, no respect, go get a hotel. Um, so, yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. As you guys can see, it just came out four hours ago. Um, so, recently, he was literally bragging, uh, not bragging, but he was saying that he's not ending the wedding. Um, <laughs> you see, he said, Chad Ojocinco says he's still getting married in February, no matter what, after the breakup. So, he's laughing about it, joking and stuff. He said, it's too late to cancel his and Sherelle's wedding, except for February 2025. During the latest installment, Installment of him in Shannon Sharp's Nightcap podcast, the former NFL wideout uh, explains why he refuses to call off the wedding, while Sharp declared he will object if it's not um, Rosado at the altar. You still got the suit for the wedding? He said, I do. So this is this. You still got your suit for the wedding? I do. Yeah. All right. But she, hey, she looking grim. But I'm getting, hey, I take Hey, you want to ask my huh? money? You don't have me go out there and get go get some lady. Oh, I know one thing. I'm getting married come February. You heard me? All I know is. Oh, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Now stay with me. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting married in February. <laughs> I don't. I don't know who the fuck is gonna be. But when that goddamn day come, I'm walking down that aisle with somebody. Well, well, I know who it's gonna be I, then. I but hold on. Let me take my glasses off now. Well, I'm 46 years old, man. I ain't got time to be playing. What you trying to do? What you, I mean, I mean, whoever's gonna be. I'm walking down that motherfucker aisle in February. I done got the Well, I ain't going. If it if it if it ain't my niece, I ain't going. I, well, she, you know what? If if you if you don't show up, that's fine. And I ain't I ain't I, I have you I, shit. What? I, I if it ain't I, my I niece, hate, I hate for us to fall out, man. I Hey, I tell you what, when that preach, when that when the minister say, does anybody object to this right. wedding? Let's speak now, fam. Hold your peace. I object. <laughs> I never <damn it>, object. <laughs> this ain't right. This ain't right. I'm have hey. my own mic, Joy. Go hand me a mic. Hey. I'm have my mic. Yeah. I've been no around two years. Hey. She a good woman, Ocho. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know who this is. I, mean, I, mean, I don't. I, I don't agree with you being with Ocho. Hey, me personally, I don't like you. Hey, we not gonna accept you. The Nightcap family not accepting you. Hey, I, I know how you feel, but sometimes 
<laughs> sometimes in life, sometimes you got you got you gotta you gotta shit looking great, shit looking shit look shit looking kind of grim right now, boy. So you know, you might as well get it get it through your head, not get it through your skull. You know, it might not be, it might nope. not be, no can do. I refuse. It might to. not be who you want it, but I'm walking down that aisle. Come goddamn February, because I'm finna be old. I'm finna I'm finna be old. I ain't got I ain't got time. I ain't got I ain't got time to play. I ain't got time to play. You got got me fucked up. I'm gonna be drunk. I'm gonna be on that Laportier. Ain't no. I I am not responsible for what I say. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm gonna have open bar. I got three people performing, and I listen. I already I already paid my deposits too for for the performers. I done paid. I done paid for the junk new to come perform. Kiki Wyatt, Brian McKnight coming, Anthony Hamilton, John Legend. You know, and it's too late now. It's too late. You know. So I mean, either I I don't I don't, I don't know. What I'm gonna use your ceremony to get married my damn self then. <laughs> Since you got on over, boy, but you gonna save me an ass load of money. <laughs> hey, we are baby, we already got a venue, we already got the axe. You ain't oh, gotta bring the hey. <laughs> oh Joe, check this out. All right, so you guys heard that over here laughing like everything's funny, you know. Um, so someone said it's look. Uh, so he said it's looking grim. I know one thing. I'm getting married come February. You hear me? I'm getting married in February. I don't know who the f is going to be, you know. So they were just making jokes about it. Um, and then so it's just reca recapping. Someone said it's unclear why they split, which now we know. Um, but yes, yeah, it talks about how she said that he was a free man and sharp joke. Um, that if Johnson marries someone else, he will be. Uh, he will tell the bride that he is not accepted in the nightcap family um johnson explained that he already paid the deposit for some big name entertainers at his wedding he said i'm having an open bar what do you think so um someone said don't do it unless you want to give half your money away um still looking for a real sports story <laughs> i guess this was new york post so it's just like an article of them clowning or whatever but um yeah i just think it's interesting that he really was um caught in the bed with another woman um shout out to neighborhood talk like i said um oops sorry what did i do what did i do i went out of it um yeah so like i said a uh, chat which Cinco and terrell Rosado split allegedly stemmed from her catching chad having intercourse with another woman in their bed just disrespectful these men um they feel like if they have money they could do whatever and i guess they can because women allow it so um but yeah what do you guys think about this drop your comments below and don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos from empress radio okay bye